Hello. Oh my gosh, it's so wonderful to see your beautiful shining face. How are you? I am good. How are you? I am. You look so pretty as always. I just pulled my hair back today because I came back to California and it's so hot and humid. Apparently they had thunderstorms the day before I got back, which was yesterday. And so I was like, oh my gosh, it feels like Florida. How odd. <laughs> so I just went, <laughs> <laughs> you look uh, so Well, good. you look beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I'm so excited to be able to connect with you here on Zoom. And I'm just curious. I'm sure we've all had such an extraordinary experience since, you know, for the last, I'd say, 12 days when we first met. And um, I was really curious. I was, hated to see you leave when you did on Sunday. And um, I thought we had such an, a, a spectacular effect. I'm, I'm, no matter what, I still always wanted to keep in contact with you. But I'm very excited over all the results. You were amazing during that entire event, pulling everyone together. First of all, I have deep felt, heartfelt uh gratitude and appreciation for you. Oh, thank you so much. You know, everybody has been so good. Christina called me this morning, and then um, Chris called me, and then TJ called me, and it was like, you know, I just, I didn't feel like I had done anything extra special or anything, but it was so nice to have everybody call me, you know? So, yeah, well, it was fun. Well, you are, I could tell you're genuinely just being you. And for all of us, that was really special. <laughs> so it was uh, very, very special. And just have such a wonderful healing energy about you. And your joy was really infectious to our group. And um, so I want to thank you for that. So, so wonderful. So how was it once you got back home and you got back to work? And, you know, it's kind of a, a different vibe. Someone else? Uh, it's probably my internet. Oh, okay. um, we are we are in the middle of nothing but smoke between um, Idaho and I think that somebody said there's a lot coming from your area. Yeah. Are you got? Do you have a lot of? Food? We have. At, well, when I checked last night, we had 367 fires in California um, before I left Nevada. Uh, yesterday, I got a hold of my boys because I know we've been having fires in California for the last three weeks, but it just multiplied the day before yesterday because we had 10,000, I think it was like 10, over 10,000 lightning strikes, or something like 10,869 lightning strikes two days ago, which set all these other oh. fires. And so San Francisco, Vacaville, which is just north of San Francisco, they have like they have all these alerts going on. Um, in San Francisco, people are being told to stay in because the sky doesn't look blue. It's all orange because of the fires. Here in Southern California, north of LA, south of LA, and east of LA, Los Angeles city and county, I don't know how many fires there are, but there's there's enough where there's, you know, smoke alerts and, you know, I'm fortunate. I live by the beach, so I'm only two blocks from the water. And because I'm only two blocks from the water, the oh, wow. wind blows everything inland. So everybody inland is getting really hammered. But, um, you know, to have over 10,000 lightning strikes in a, in a less than 72 hours is bizarre. And um, so I thought- Yeah, that's unreal. Yeah, we have that. And then there's been twisters all over the country uh, on the different shores, there's been like half a dozen, eight, 10, 12 twisters at a time uh, on the East Coast and the West Coast sharks, like in Newport Beach, which is just like four or five miles from me, which is the next beach just south of me, because we're almost on the border. Uh -huh. They had a shark that just a, a huge, one of the giant sharks, they just washed ashore alive, just washed ashore, which is strange too. Really? Oh my gosh. There's this like enormous shark they so had. So did they could put them all back in the water? I don't know if they put him back in the water, but he washed ashore and you know how you get alerts uh, on your phone? And so I said, oh my gosh. That's right. 
huge shark for it to have popped up like that. I don't even know how I would pull it up again. Maybe it's on um, Google news or something on my Google browser, but I just saw that this morning. And I thought, Oh my gosh, that's kind of a lot of bizarre things that are happening. So, and I, you know, it's, it's yeah. on our planet, but it's happening. It's coming from like an interplanetary. I have my theories about right. a thousand plus strikes. I think we have some, some additional help that have landed. Let's just say that way, you know, on different dimensions that aren't. Right. Yeah. And I thought, <laughs> Also, that as soon as as soon as I saw that, I thought, wouldn't you know it, that our group got together under really impossible circumstances. Um, you yeah. Know, and that I think that, you know, I don't think I know that pretty much everyone that was at that, uh, you know, medical healing, hypnotherapy certifications, I really think that we're all I feel that we're all light workers and we're all there genuine healers from this lifetime and probably many others and many other di different dimensions too. Um, so I think yeah. that. And how, how I got mine was so bizarre that I was even there, you know, um, cause I hadn't, I'm just pulling in. So hopefully our internet will get better. Okay. So not actually signed up for that class. Really? Oh my gosh, the sound just Which was so that. weird because I signed up for a totally different class. And then the guy that I was supposed to take the class from, because I couldn't get, I just couldn't afford David's class is what it came down to. And so the guy that I was supposed to take it from two days before, well, so it would have been, I left on Sunday. So on, on Friday before mm -hmm. I took off, he canceled the class. And so I was like, well, I talked to Stephanie and I said, so what do I do now? You're gonna hear my dogs go berserk for a minute, sorry. I see orbs. And uh, speaking, she says, way. well, we're offering these. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can actually hear you better now. It's more clear. Yeah, so go on. But I can't hear you. You can't hear me. Now can, now can you still hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Maybe check your phone. You may have touched your mute accidentally. Let me call you back. Yeah, go ahead. Go I'll ahead. Try it again. Yeah. Hmm. I can't figure out why I can't hear you. Okay, if you want to just end it and then come back in, I'll, I'll be here. Okay, let me, let me hang up and call you back. Okay, okay. Okay. There you go. There, now I can hear you again. Okay, good, I can hear you too. Yeah, I, I left my car and come in the house, so I lost that connection probably. So, but yeah, so how I got in was, then they had said, come on Doug, was that, you know, I could take David's class in, re in replacement for that other class. So mm -hmm. that's how I got in. And I was telling Chet the other night, I said, you know, we're not even supposed to have been there. That's one of the reasons I didn't know anything about the after conference class. Because oh, I was, wondering I was just kind of thrown into the pre-conference class. So, you know what? The divine yeah. orchestrated. So, had I known, I would have loved it. Wow. So it got you to Nevada and then it yeah. directed you where you were supposed to be. Because so. it was obvious that you were one of our soulmates, part of our tribe, because you were you were so instrumental to the entire class, the entire way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're just so sweet. <laughs> oh, it's true. Everybody, we were so overjoyed when we when um Arthur won the package and then he said he um gifted it to you everybody felt like they had received Arthur's gift and we were like, it was like the perfect thing. We genuinely felt like we had received the gift and we're like so overjoyed for you. We're like, wow, there's no one better that he could have gifted that to. It was so right. 
And it, it was just so amazing, you know. It was. It was. So I mean, that's confirmation <laughs> that you were at the right place at the right time with the right people. Um, it was so. I mean, everyone was so overjoyed. So. Yeah. And then when he said that he had a dream the night before that he was going to win and that he was going to give it to you, it was like a prophetic. He didn't tell me that. You didn't know that? No, he didn't tell me that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. The night before he dreamt that he had won and that he gave it to you in the dream. So when he won it the next day, he knew, he knew exactly what to do because he had already had that dream the night before, one night before. I, I had no idea. I've never heard that, that before. He told you. No. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. That is way cool. But you know what's funny? He hasn't talked to me since. Oh, he will. I'm sure. Is that not strange? So I did send him a text today because I've been like texting him every day because we did lunch together every day that we were there. And, and then he, you know, and then he just gave me the package and quit talking to me. And so it was so weird. So I, I texted him today and I said, you know, I've been texting you. I don't get any answers and I don't believe in bothering people. So I'm going to, from here on out, I'm going to put it in your hands mm -hmm. if you want to talk to me. And I got a text back from him about an hour later that said, I receive a hundred or more text messages a day. I don't always get to him. You know, we're definitely going to stay in touch. And so I, I felt better about that. Yeah. He but, may have been overwhelmed with text messages. Sounds like he is. Yeah. Yeah. With his work. And he had told me before that with his work, he gets so many messages all the time. Yeah. So, but but I was just amazed that he had given that to me. And now to know that he had a dream about it, that. I don't know. It just makes me want to cry. <laughs> yeah, so. I thought he told you because he told us, you know, at the table. So I thought for sure he had mentioned it to you. So, wow, that is very, 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 very cool. Yeah. Not a word from him. Not a word. Yeah, he's no. going to try to catch up with um, everything because I think he was going to take a couple of days off to go do certain things and try to catch up before he actually had to jump into work because it was going to be really busy when he got back to work again. So, um, right. Yeah. I think something he had to do something with his mother, something like I don't really remember all yeah. that. But I'm like, okay. Yeah. yeah. He had. Yeah. I know he had to go do some stuff with his mom. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. So, so I have to tell you, um, I keep having these pop-up memories that's yeah. just been amazing. Oh my gosh. So, so more memories have been coming. That's what I had a feeling. Wow. Yeah, it has been really good. They're like not following any direct timeline. It's just like, there'll be something. And so like today I had to, um, my sister, she, I have two sisters that are hairdressers. So they always say, Pam, get in the chair. You're looking bad. So today <laughs> I walked in and my one sister said, get in the chair. And I said, I know it's looking bad. It's been too long. So she talked me into some color. I kind of like it. I like it too. I mean, I liked your hair before. It was so stunning. So, but I like this too. So we'll see. It's funny because um, Chet had me send pictures for the face reading stuff. Yes. And... So I think he's going to post it with the, your group okay. and uh, have people, you know, say, let's read it or whatever. But he hasn't said anything about the hair. So, I mean, nothing. <laughs> so. He, he, you know how guys are. He might think maybe it's different lighting, makes your hair look different or something. Um, <laughs> or he, you know, maybe he hasn't noticed. That was the first thing I noticed. I'm like, oh, your hair has a little more color on there than before. <laughs> Yeah, that's what happens when you have hairdresser sisters. So, awesome. <laughs> but anyway, I was, I was talking to her and I said, do you, do you have any memory about going with dad on the log truck? And we went up and the log truck got stu stuck and dad made me drive the log truck and you were sitting in the seat beside me. And she said, yeah. And she said, you were about 12 years old. And so that would have made her about 10, nine or nine years old. 
And she said, yeah, don't you remember how scared you were? And, you know, because you could barely reach the pen. And she related this whole thing. And, I, and she looked at me for a minute. And she said, how do you know that? Because you don't know unless we tell you. And I said, Lillian, fix me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got um, a download while Dr. David um, was, it was before the, the um, medical, you know, Chinese face reading hypnotherapy class and um i was chris was sitting chris smith was sitting to my left because yeah, as you know we only had two people to a table and then all of a sudden while dr david was talking it was like a picture in picture like i'm looking at dr david looking at the diagrams and then i had like this little movie that just kind of like went and it just showed me that i was supposed to program a water a, a water bottle one of the little you know how we have those little water bottles in the back of the room okay it showed me the little water bottle and it it basically indicated to program the water bottle. It told me what to do. And I said, oh. I'm like, oh my gosh. So then I looked at Chris, I'm like, oh my gosh, I just got a download. And I told him, you know, to get Pam's memory back. And it was very specific to you. And I, and then he was already wide eyed, but he got even more wide eyed. He's like, you got to tell her now. I go, yeah, but we're in the middle of the class. So I go, I'll tell her later. I actually didn't tell you that day. I waited to the following day, which is when at the end, the day that you were actually leaving, I said what I told you. And then we did the process. And uh, during the process, a little bit more was given to me. So I, you know, I paid attention and I just did what I was instructed. And the rest is history. I wish so much I would have recorded it. I wish that I wouldn't have been in such a hurry that I would have recorded it. I wish too. And I had my Canon camera with me. I didn't have my tripod. My bad. I left the tripod in my car. Next time I will bring it with me because I wish we would have videoed that whole session because it was very unique to you. That yeah. Where yeah. It used, I'm sure you could recognize different modalities that we learned that Dr. David taught us. And then there was other stuff that was in real time that was given to me. And I just, I just followed it. So, and I thought, mm -hmm. wow, um, like when I was given the download to program the water, they didn't show me to have you drink the water. They just told me that the key was in programming the water while we were doing the process. Oh, yeah. it, I was told, have her drink it now. So then I told you to drink it now and as you were drinking it. I'm like, oh, wow, that makes so much sense to me because you're going to take it into your DNA. You're feeling it come down into your body. And I thought, oh my gosh. And then I kept on having to listen to what else they were telling me. And I, you know, I just followed the promptings and I thought, whoa, this is, and I just, I kind of felt like I was feeling the same thing you were feeling. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then that well, was, it was so super cool. Yeah. And then when we finished, I had that like God incidence, like kind of an electric vibration, low hum kind of that gives you also chick, you know, the goosebumps. And then you mentioned it too. And I'm like, okay, we're feeling the same thing. And you're like, oh my God. I see my dad with my sister sitting on the grass in the park. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, wow, that was instant. Yeah, it really was. I mean, it was, but it was like when I was drinking the water, it was, it was just like, I don't know, like clouds that, that were just parting. And then there it was, it was just this picture, you know? Oh, so, wow. It was just way cool. It was way cool. That is um, awesome. So awesome. Well, <laughs> so thank you, thank you. Oh, you're quite welcome. It gives it gave me so much, so much, so much joy to be able to do that. You were my 200. Interesting how we were talking about God incidences and serendipity and the signs. You were number two, two, two. You were the 222nd person that I um that I you know did these processes on. So wow. Yeah, so I thought, hmm, two, two, two. That's interesting. <laughs> you know, master number. So I thought that was really cool as well. So, and interesting, so, enough, I treated Arthur uh, on the last day also because we got, you know, how you end up going through everybody in the class and so forth. And then I got a hit about his uh, kidney and, uh, uh -huh. you know, because I could see he has inflammation in his kidneys because he's got that inflammation right. in his eyes and so forth. 
And then of course I had to download about him. It's so neat when you're able to use the processes and then also pay attention to your intuition. And then we uncovered something for him. So then it was revealed to me using the water process too that I was supposed to use on him. So I'm kind of curious to follow up with him and see, cause he had some, some other things he was like, Oh my gosh, I had no idea of this and this and this. I don't want to out him without him, you know, saying that it's okay to repeat. So, so I'm like, wow, this is, and, and then all of a sudden he got very sparkly eyed, you know, he's got these warm eyes, but they just got like even more sparkly. And I said, Oh, wow. That's like really, it's like his shin really just lit up. I'm like, Oh, wow. This is very cool. So, well, how cool. Very exciting. Very exciting. Yeah. I miss so much not being there that last little bit, you know, but like I was telling Chris, cause um, Chris called me today. Just so sweet, you know, that he, um, I was telling him, I said, you know, I'm a big believer. Everything happens for a reason. Yes. I got to be in that first class for a reason. So then there's a reason why I wasn't in the second part. And as much as I wanted to be, yeah. you know, like right now I'm helping with my ex mother-in-law that lives just down the road from me and she's doing, you know, I'm helping with her end of life cycle. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. I don't, and she's getting close, you know, she's getting close and I would call her, you know, um, no matter what was going on while we were there at con you know, at class and conference, I would take five minutes or 10 minutes or and just call and check on her. And so that I could just say, Hey, I'm here. It, you know, I'm here. So if you need something. Yeah. So I just think that I needed to come by the time I got home last on Sunday, she, her family were, they were about at their wits end. And so what I've been doing with them is I've just been doing the whole end of life cycle, helping them to be able to, in a very pleasant, loving way, say goodbye as she leaves. Mm -hmm. And that each day she's getting closer to, mm -hmm. um, you know, what, yeah, you know. And so they've all been coming in, the kids have all been coming, the grandkids, you know, and when I got home on Sunday, she said, oh, I'm so glad you're home. She said, I just want to go. And now that you're here, I know you'll help my family and I just need to go. And I was like, that's a lot of pressure on me. <laughs> so, but I, I'm sure she doesn't have long left. And I'm sure that that's why I came home. Yeah. You know? I was needed here. I was here. You're, you're helping her bridge. So worlds and not only giving her permission but allowing her family to accept and give her permission with their blessing so that it's not a difficult you know transition for her so they're able you're kind of prepaid love so that it's a smooth glide out and it's not you know there isn't that angst that sometimes people feel and that makes all the difference in the world how they transition from one realm to the other because their spirits literally right. leaving it's, you know, starting to shake off the body and detaching from the body to right. make transition. And some people who have fear or some people who fear, feel that the people around them, they're may, maybe they're at peace with it, but the people around them aren't um, because, right. uh, because they have so much love for them. They don't want to put them through that. So then they, at their own detriment, they suffer more because those around them, right are in so much fear, so much angst. And so you're, you're like that loving balm you saw that just kind of keeps everyone and makes everything okay. And you're like bridging her between <laughs> her. So you're, that's so beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my God. Well, I used, I know. <laughs> I just love you. You're so great. <laughs> I think the same thing about you. It's like mirror reflection. I absolutely love and adore you. And you have like, <laughs> once I started to learn a little bit more about you and then you revealed other things, I'm like, oh my gosh, you have been through to hell and back multiple times and you still have, you know, this joie de vivre. You have this joy, this exuberant, vivacious energy and you're so charismatic. <laughs> 
and like everybody just like you know gravitated towards you and I'm like most people I think see you from the outside and think oh my gosh she's just lived you know probably such a charmed life you know kind of a silver spoon kind of experience and it's like you paid your dues you must have you must be a cat because <laughs> nine lives literally I mean I only know a scratch of a little bit and I'm like wow any one of those things could have taken you out I mean I mean when I found out that you had gotten shot in the head and you still have the bullet in your head I thought how is that even possible so you obviously are a cat with nine lives you're <laughs> because that <laughs> you're so happy, you know so you're so other people with a fraction of what you've been through and they're like you are woe is me you know yeah. you're so not happy. well you have a choice in life you can either do that or you can get up and smile and be happy and your life is going to be on however you pro project it to be Absolutely. you know and i've always said that so so and i have to show you this is um if i can turn I'm going to turn the camera around really quick and I'll show you what makes me so happy uh -huh. if I can figure it out. Oh, did I see a picture of a baby in a hat? Oh, yep, I'll show you that. But this is my family. Oh, wow, it's a big family. Beautiful. That's my family. That was at less two of them. Two of my grandkids didn't get in there. But that was at Robert's funeral. Oh, and no. so that's my family yeah and is that where is it um is that the picture you were talking about yes i saw the baby and i go what a beautiful picture tell me about that that is my daughter's first child and she drew a picture of him when she was born oh my in God. his daddy's hands Wow, she's a very so, good artist. So, and there's a lot of pictures out there like that, that, you know, the, but that's my grandson when he was born. So. Oh, how yeah. wonderful. But I do, I have a very large family, you know, I have five, I have five children and then I have um, 22 grandchildren. And one and three quarters great grandchildren. <laughs> wow. Okay. You got to tell me about the three quarters. How is it three quarters? Because she's not due for a little bit longer. So. Oh, oh. Okay. So she's about to come into, she's about to be born. Yeah. Ooh, 20, yeah. So you have yeah. 22 grandchildren and one and three quarter great grandchildren. I thought I heard great. I'm like, how could she be old enough to be, be a great grandmother? You don't look old enough to have. Great grandchildren. So you must have started. <laughs> wow. Oh, how exciting. If you knew my life, it's been, you know, I look at it now and I think, actually, I have a pretty interesting life. <laughs> Sorry, my dogs. You know what? I'd like, I'd like to ask a favor of you two things. Um, first of all, I would love to be able to share this video with other people so that they can see here the possibilities and have belief that you know whether they've lost their memory whether they've had horrible things happen that they too can live a joyous fulfilling fun-filled life because you are a walking living testimony of that so that's the first well you share you share you share away <laughs> i will i will share this with others i will put it on my youtube channel and then i want to invite you back to um it'll be just it'll be just like this however we'll do it on youtube live and i would love for people to hear your story because you are i think i told you when we were uh in nevada i said you are thorina the wisdom warrior because just with the fraction of things that i've heard <laughs> i'm like oh my gosh you have overcome you have conquered you have the wisdom and you are just kicking ass girl and i'm so blessed so proud <laughs> part of your circle of friends and part of this tribe of light workers that we have on the earth that more than ever with all the things that are going on in 2020 is so desperately needed and so i know that as people hear your story they're going to relate with um probably multiple parts of your story and go 
wow, if she can do that, um, then I can too. And I, I know that people are going to reach out to you. They'll probably reach out to me as well, but they're going to reach out to both of us. And I think that it will make, you know, we're helping people one person at a time. And I really think yeah. it's healing for people to hear your story. And it's really needed. And so, yeah. Thorina, I don't have to <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing extraordinary, but I'm glad to share. So okay, we'll go ahead and we'll set that for maybe sometime next week. Let me know what's a Tuesday or Thursday, if uh, either or if a Wednesday is better for you. We, I'll send you a text message and we'll book it. We'll do it. Um, are you normally working in the afternoons? I work. I work from eight in the morning until five, and then I do my cleaning jobs. And I'm usually not home until. 10 30 quarter to 11. okay what's your so, day we don't want to do this during your working hours we want to do it on a day that you have um and i'm i'm really flexible because i just Thursday. i deal people with people all over the world so what what's uh what's yeah. the day of the week for you thursday night is my night i do not clean so after five o'clock i'm pretty well free okay what's the time difference because right now it is seven fifty. it's eight o'clock basically in california um, you're in North Dakota? No, I'm in Wyoming. It's 8.58. Okay, so it's an hour time difference then, because it's 7.58, it's 8.58, so we only have, you're an hour ahead of me. Okay, so we could do a Thursday night if you want to do like, it would be 9 o'clock my time, 10 o'clock yours? Sure, sure. Okay, so next, well, let's see, let me make sure, because sometimes when I speak without double checking, I sometimes end up double booking, so let me look really quick here my calendar for 11 seconds TV. That would be the 27th, Thursday, nine o'clock my time, 10 o'clock yours. Okay, so we'll do the show then. And, sure. and unless something happens with, um, you know, with, with my ex-mother-in-law, yeah. Yeah, it's something, yeah. well, subject to that, and we'll verify, you know, the same day. I'll reach out to you and text you, or you can reach out and text me maybe um, earlier in the day and we'll verify to make sure that everything's okay with her. But, oh my gosh, hey. Jill, you are awesome. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Hey, anything, if, if you know of someone who needs any kind of, right now I put a Facebook post, I'll probably tag you on it. Um, anyone who's, because of these crazy fires that are going on and these firefighters, uh, somebody posted a picture on my Facebook page about, you know, they showed three firefighters and one of them, his face was completely black all over here. And the first thing I thought, not only did the three of them look exhausted, but I realized, oh my gosh, all that black soot, all that carbon that they inhaled into their lungs, you know, not only are they obviously very tired and fatigued, but that's a lot of harm that they're taking in, inhaling right. that garbage. So I put out a, a message just saying anybody who knows a firefighter or healthcare worker that has anything to do with these fires anywhere throughout the country, I will do the, the, these neurosomatic processes, you know, free of charge. I just, you know, I just, it's my way of paying it forward and giving back to them. They're doing so much for our country right now and for everyone across the U.S. And we just have this, it's so weird. We have the pandemic going on, but we have this pandemic of fires like i said almost 400 fires right. in California alone nevada when i left las vegas yesterday i mean from my hotel room on the eighth floor outside you could see the smoke when i got on the freeway it was total like just the smoke all the way around all yeah. the mountains were full of smoke and i thought oh my gosh nevada must be i don't know how many fires are in nevada but they must have their fair share of fires yeah. too because this guy wasn't blue. And then when I talked to um, somebody in Arizona, they said, oh yeah, we're getting hammered with fires here too. Now you're telling me you guys are, are getting hammered with fires. Yeah. Colorado is also getting, they, their skies, which are normally gorgeous blue, Denver, Colorado is getting, so I'm going, what the heck is going on? That we have the whole, yeah. there's like all these hot spots, all these fires all over. So, I figured, you know what, I'm just, for fire workers, do doctors, you know, are notorious for not taking good care of themselves, and nurses are right. notorious for not taking good care of themselves either, 
at their own expense, they're helping so much others that they're forgetting to put themselves on the list, like mothers, like grandmothers. So I'm like, you know what? I'm right. just for all firefighters, anybody that contacts me through private messaging, I'm just going to do that as a, you know, I'm, I, I'm, um, yeah. I'm going to do that. It's like, it's so needed. So if you know of anyone, let me know and I'll do vice versa also with you. I figure between Thorina, the wisdom warrior and myself, <laughs> you know, that a dent in the lives of each individual that we are able to, in effect, touch. So, yeah. Okay. All right. It's, okay. it's been great. Yeah. I love you. I love you too. So we will see you next Thursday, nine o'clock my time, 10 o'clock your time, and I'll send you a little reminder and the meeting ID and it's going to be a fantastic time sharing your life story and giving hope and inspiration and enthusiasm to those who are relating with you. All righty. All right. Love you, gal. Big hugs to you. Love you. Bye. -bye. Bye. Love you. Bye-bye.